<laughs> what do you think about Savir? Savir's a wow boy. A wow boy. I just say that. Yeah. Why does he call you buddy? What's they, that? That's what we call people. Like That's like buddy. Like when you, <laughs> It's kind of hard to explain, but like when we own something different with a person, we'd be like, man, what's up with buddy? Like, like I mean, it's kind of like we, it's a connection that we all have. Like, kind of hard to explain that so it's an endearing thing more than it's that. not really sometimes it can be endearing sometimes it can be okay. so you know like fresh means a lot of different stuff like yep. oh that's fresh or that's fresh food or like, like it means a lot of different stuff so like with us buddy means a lot of different things it could be like <laughs> that's buddy like that's that boy that's him or it could be like man what's up with buddy like you know what i mean like yeah it's you know what i'm saying so that, like what he just said right yeah here, like right? it's just a situation like how you okay. use it yeah how's jt looking this summer great unbelievable right now he's uh he's working tireless he's 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 one of our hardest workers um, on our team right now he's doing an unbelievable job he's uh he's really revamped his game uh we're looking for big things out of justin right now and he's he's deserving it because he's putting the time in, in his craft and the confidence comes from the work and uh, how hard he's worked his confidence to be through the sky right now you get the chance to get a real feel now for BBN. You see these lines wrapped around the building. I mean, when you pull up and you see these lines, what, what's your initial thought? It's unbelievable. It shows that the, the people and the fans are invested, and uh, it shows how much they care, how 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 far down some of the generational lines that it, it goes. I talked to people today, and they, you know, I talked to two ladies who said that they went to 300 and some games in a row and never missed a game and because they're a little further away, they're older, so they're, they, they, they don't like driving at night. So you hear those stories, it lets you know the investment and how, how much these people pay their heart souls into you know Kentucky and, and Kentucky men's basketball. It's, 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 it's amazing you know, to be a part of that. But it comes with a gift and a curse, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a gift and a curse with that, but you take the good over the bad any day. Cal Perry has always been a coach who values this part of the community and raising money for the people who need it. What's it like working for a guy who puts that much emphasis on, you know, when Western Kentucky needs our help, we're going to be the ones to step up and do it? When Coach Cal talks about being a servant leader, it starts at the top. And he's he's very adamant about giving back. He's, he's very adamant uh, about never forgetting where he came from. He, he talks about it all the time. His, his dad was a beggar's handler. His mom uh, worked in the cafeteria. Like that's really who Coach Cal is. And, and to get people to understand who he is, this is who he is. Like him doing this and getting out in the community and, and trying to help uh, uh, other people, you know what I mean? And obviously the people in Western Kentucky, but uh, this is who he is. His, his every breath that he takes of his life is for and about other people and it's for our kids and it's for their families like it's not fraud like that, that's who Coach Cal is. And what, what's the summer been like for you compared to last year when you were first coming into the program? Um, I, I, I was trying to obviously the first year finding my way and, and, and trying to cut my teeth but now that I'm, I've been here for a year obviously my role um, will change and has changed in terms of uh, what I am doing day to day with the, with, with our team. Uh, I mean, we spend a lot of time together. I spend a lot of time with these guys early in the morning, late at nights, as long as time permits itself. If I care hours and all of that, but we spend a lot of time. Like we have a culture, right? Our culture is hard work, and it's got we got guys competing to see who's in the gym, who's shooting more shots, who's working on their game more, and and that culture breeds success and, and the culture like Coach Cal says all the time, that's the kind of culture that he's had here, he's created here. The culture won't change. None of these kids will change our culture. Our culture may change them, but they won't change it. And so we have that in place and it's been fun to, to obviously kind of cut my teeth and, and, and dig into what I'm doing. Where does the crowd like this fit into the culture of your basketball? Um like what we're doing, getting out, touching the people and being amongst the people and uh uh, 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 coming out and, and, and doing community work and, and stuff like that. I think that us, that, that, that connection with them, letting them know that there wouldn't be no us if it weren't for them. And I told a, a couple of families today, and they're like, thank you. No, I'm like, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, no, we we get it. We understand. It wouldn't be no us if it wasn't for this. You know, it wasn't for these people. Who, who, who would we be? So we want to give back and let them know that we care, and, and we're thankful for them. Instead of them treating us like, we're no, it's, it's you guys. We, we're thankful for you guys. So. I think you've offered seven kids now in the 24 class. It's a little bit like maybe more 
faster approach than uh, we've seen over the past couple of years? Seven may be a, a, a multiplied number. I don't think we've offered seven. So here's, sometimes if we've talked to a kid and the kid say we've offered them, we, we, we may or may not have offered. So I think that that's a multiplied number. But okay. we have offered some in that, that class, but not that many. Well, what's the importance of just trying to build that relationship a little bit earlier maybe than it has been? That's a little abnormal for Coach Kyle because he doesn't uh, normally, you know, offer kids that, 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 that young. But there are some that he's seen, and it's all about for Coach Kyle to see them. And if he's seen them and they, they fit us and they check all the boxes from us, then he may – you know, extend an offer to a, a, a younger kid. And there has been a few that he's seen, right? So if he's seen them and, and they check those boxes, then he may um, offer some of those kids. But seven, I think that's a... Buddy, that's, a that's the uh, public number as well. Yeah, that, that, that may be a little bit too many, but buddy. we'll see. You, you see my buddy? man, buddy? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? <laughs> See, buddy. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's when you get to acting like that, you buddy. <laughs> you buddy. Okay. Ken, you've been around college basketball for a long time. What about all this? Come on. It's amazing, man. Again, like, it's it's priceless. Like, uh, you know, these, these people could be doing anything, right? It's a nice day. I want to go back there to that pool with the fountain right there. They could be in there, but they out here. For us, this just shows the dedication. This just shows how much they're invested, and and it shows for us that we got to come and meet that. You know what I mean? And, and and come out and touch them where they're at, and not just see us on the TV and you know what I mean? See us at the games. That no, we're real people like them, and we care just like they care about us. Thank you.